Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christiana or Triple T and if you're new here, welcome. So a subscriber requested that I showed how I press my broken shadows or blushes or any powder product um, because usually when we find them in the dumpster, they're usually shattered, most likely unopened, unused, but shattered. That's why they were thrown out. So these three were found in the five below dumpster, all shattered, all unopened. So I am going to show you my process on how to repress the pigments. All right, so these are all the same shade, wet and wild in mellow wine. They are blushes. So this is the first step. You'll find your broken powdered product and you're going to open it up and you're going to see the crushed product like that. You're going to take any type of utensil. I use the end of a makeup brush just to crush up the rest of the remaining larger pieces into a finely milled powder. So you just crush up all these bigger pieces. It's very easy to do. You don't need any strength at all really. And you just keep pressing until all the larger chunks are gone and turned into a powder again. Once completed, you're going to get something that looks like this. Just turn that into the same powder. I create a little hole in the middle, just like that with the end of my makeup brush, just to create a little pocket. Now these compartments are larger than regular eyeshadows. So when you get an eyeshadow, you'll most likely just need to make a little tiny pocket with like the end of the stick very quickly because the shadow compartments are much smaller. But this one requires just a little larger of a vessel to pour your rubbing alcohol. So the next step would be to grab some rubbing alcohol. This is the kind that I use and I'm just gonna take the cap that comes with it and pour a cap full. Now, when you're doing a shadow, it's much less than this, but because the blushes are large, I do one cap full. So I'm going to pour it right in the center and it can get messy. As you can see, I put a towel underneath it because right here is the hole to close the vessel so pouring from a cap is not so clean. <laughs> so pour as you need. I'm gonna use one cap full. And right now I'm only putting in half because it can get messy as you can see. So you're gonna take the end of your makeup brush or whatever utensil you're using and start stirring it in to the alcohol. So you're gonna stir the powder and keep stirring until you get a paste type texture. So right now it's soaking up the alcohol, it's drying out, you gotta add more alcohol. All right, so more alcohol is added and you're gonna keep stirring the powder into the alcohol so it soaks all up and creates a paste. You don't wanna to add too much alcohol because then it gets too wet and will leak over the edges and also create a little bit more of um, powder loss when you are pressing it. So gauge as you go, use little, and then keep adding as you need. Just like putting blush on your face. Use a little bit and then keep adding as you need because if you put too much, you can't go back. But if you do put too much alcohol, you can go back because the rubbing alcohol evaporates. So it's not that big of a deal. You'll just lose some product. All right, so that's a good paste. I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit more because I like it a little looser. So for me, with this size, I just used one whole cap. All right, so I'm just gonna stir it again. It's like a little mousse putty texture. So as you can see, it will go over the edges sometimes. It's not so easy to keep it within the pan 
when you have an outer layer of plastic. With this, I try to rub off as much excess as I can, but you know what? It's not too terrible if you lose some product because you are saving it from entering the landfill. So you are saving the majority of it instead of just throwing it out and deeming it a loss. All right. So you're gonna just wipe off the edge of that so it doesn't get on anything. And then the next step is to take a paper towel, anything, a few thick layers of it because you will be pressing down into the shadow. So I'm gonna move these out of the way. And as you can see, some product did come through the hole in the front when I um, was pouring the alcohol and it went down with the alcohol. So you did lose some product, but honestly, it's no big deal. So you're gonna take your paper and usually when I have a shadow that I'm pressing, I can use a quarter or something along that size and just push it into the shadow. But for these, they're much larger pans, so I don't have anything really to push down. So I'm just going to take the paper, lay it right on top, and push down with my hands. So it's going to spread on the edges, just like this one did, because the product has a outer plastic rim, you know, for aesthetics, but when you're repressing pigment, it's not that helpful. <laughs> so you're just gonna push down, push down, push down. The paper is to soak up the alcohol that you pressed in there. And the pigment is going to pick up the pattern of whatever paper you are using. So now you're just going to lift it up and it is pressed down into your container. So there is a little bit excess on the edge over here. So I'm just going to sweep that over and just put it into the pan because this is for personal use anyway. So it doesn't matter if it's not exactly gorgeous. And then I probably will just repress a little bit. So I'm just gonna fold it over and just repress just so that excess merges with the rest of the pigment, just like that. And you will end up with this guy. You're just gonna leave them open for 24 hours and the rest of the alcohol is going to evaporate. Right now they're squishy, so if you touch them, you will get a fingerprint in it. So that is that. These are the steps on how to press pigments that are shattered, quite easy. You just need rubbing alcohol, a utensil, and your pigment, and some paper, and you're all set. Hopefully this was helpful, and if you enjoyed, leave a comment below. See you guys next time.